Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you how to create pipe clamp rivet family. In this tutorial, I will use and load in the created bolt nut and washer which parameter controlled by lookup table. You can find and watch how to create bolt nut and washer in the channel. And I will refer the data in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 32 mm and create similar. Offset 30 mm and create another similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add a new parameter for clamp diameter. Select instance and click OK. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for side length. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for clamp width. Select instance and click OK. Back to front view. Go to create and select the sweep. Sketch path and draw a start end radius. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for clamp radius. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for clamp radius. The formula is diameter divided by 2. Click apply and OK. Draw lines for side length. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select Profile. Edit Profile in left view. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and make 3 mm for default. Select the dimension and add parameter for clamp thickness. Select Instance and click OK. Complete the sweep. Back to front view. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. The parameter are working. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the sweep void form. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open front view. Sketch path and draw the line. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select profile and edit profile. Edit profile in front view. Draw a circle. Insert diameter dimension. 
Select the dimension and add parameter for hole diameter. Select instance and click OK. Complete the sweep void form. Select the void form. Mirror to right side. Select the void form and edit the work plane. Go to 3D view and family type. Check and play the parameter. The parameter are working. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Search for galvanized and replace the galvanized. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Save the family in somewhere. To create main family, open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for clamp gap. Select instance and click OK. Go to reference level. Insert or load the saved family into the main family. Select the family. Assign the clamp diameter parameter to clamp diameter. Select instance and click OK. Assign the clamp thickness parameter to clamp thickness. Select instance and click OK. Assign the clamp width parameter to clamp width. Select instance and click OK. Assign the hole diameter parameter to hole diameter. Select instance and click OK. Assign the side length parameter to side length. Select instance and click OK. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Move up and align to the upper reference plane. And lock it. Select the clamp and mirror to downside. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to 3D view. Check and play the parameter. The parameter are working. Insert and load into project the created bold nut family. Find the loaded family in project browser. Drag family and face base to work plane. Go to reference level. Select the bold nut and set bold diameter to 10 millimeters. And click apply. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the bolt and mirror to left side. Back to front view. Select the bolt and adjust the length. Go to reference level and family type. Add new parameter for clamp radius. 
select instance and click OK. Add formula for clamp radius. The formula is diameter divided by 2. Click apply and OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 32 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for clamp diameter. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimensions. Select the dimension and add parameter for side length. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Align the bolt to the reference plane and lock it. Go to 3D view and family type. Check and play the parameter. The parameter are working. OK, the creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.